So moving on from that one, moving on from that, we have this news, which is kind of sad really for him in general, but also a demonstration of quite possibly the biggest bag fumble of all time. The biggest bag fumble of all time. If you're wondering, Jonathan Majors and manager entertainment 360 part ways, actor facing domestic violence allegations in NYC. So Jonathan Majors was on the cusp of absolute stardom, you know, starring in Creed, um, the movie that he did recently. What was the other one they did recently? Um, the, the the flipping DC or Marvel comic movie he did where he was Kang. He had a few other projects also up and coming, but essentially he was on the cusp to be that next guy, that next big blockbuster Hollywood, you know, flipping elite movie guy. He was going to get people in the spums and see and whatnot. He did the GQ cover, um, I think, or mental health, whatever it may be. He was absolutely ripped. All the women online were thirsting for him. And just in general, everything was looking so up, so, so up for him. But for some reason, for some reason, this guy made the fucking cardinal sin of doing what you probably should never do as a prominent, you know, figure in Hollywood, especially if you're a man in a post Me Too, uh, post can you know, current cancel culture flipping society, and that's put your hands on a woman. And if any, if that wasn't worse, if that wasn't bad enough, he put his hands on a white lady. She happened to be his girlfriend. Don't get me wrong, but being a big black dude and putting your hands on a white woman in Hollywood nowadays in this society we live in at the moment, you're essentially pressing your own cancellation button. No one's going to stand behind you after that. And that was the biggest faux pas that he did. And, you know, the fact that his wife came out or girlfriend at the time came out and rescinded the allegations and that looked really crazy. And the lawyer putting out the flipping SMS messages and shit, just really loosey goosey, you know, amateur hours type of stuff. But essentially the beginning part of it is that he should have never put his hands on that woman. And the moment he did, his career went up in flames and now he needs himself to blame. And it's looking like, even though, you know, evidence may came out that evidence might come out that flipping disputes the narrative that was put out there initially i think now the damage has essentially been done because this is really bad pr because this means the entertainment company was sending out flipping you know emails to these broadsheets like deadline and variety and rolling stone and stuff and telling them hey officially we're out like they want this to be known this isn't like a rumor these platforms are reporting on this is actually coming from the horse's mouth so this must mean the power players behind the scenes are making their changes because most likely whatever case is going to be facing is going to take a long time to go to court maybe there's some evidence that's coming out soon like this is usually i feel like a preempted thing it even means there's more people coming out who are going to allege other things about him or that the case is going to be pushed back and they can't wait around for him to kind of be found innocent. So essentially they're cutting their ties now while they can. Absolutely crazy. But the article from Deadline says as follows, talent manager entertainment 360 has dropped jonathan majors several sources tell us the recent move by majors longtime manager comes three weeks after the magazine dream star was arrested on domestic violence charges in new york city currently starring in creed 3 and ant-man and the wasp quantanium majors departure was due to issues surrounding the actor's personal behavior we're informed so they're making it abundantly clear that they're cutting ties with him and it's because of his behavior like oof major representation problems don't stop with entertainment 360 pr firm led all company also initiated a break with avengers stalin last month as a more minor element to this majors and fashion house valentino mutually agreed that the actor would not be attending this year's met gala as one of their guests oh my god he even got he even got flipping like you know de-invited from the met gala that's probably more embarrassing than going the more embarrassing thing is going to the Met Gala, right? In your flipping terrible outfit that's not on flipping theme and standing around with people that you don't like. But the worst thing is getting invited and then getting de-invited. Oh my Lord. Entertainment 360 and Little Company did not return a request to comment. Um, Majors has already shot the second season of Marvel and Disney's Loki in which he reprises his uber villain role as Kang the Conqueror and won't go before the cameras in Avengers to Kang the Destiny for quite some time. Deadline here has been zero conversation with Marvel Cam to drop Majors from MCU. So most likely they won't reshoot this. You know, he's still going to be in his role as Kang the Conqueror, but it's going to definitely harm the rollout for those films. And if one thing we know about Hollywood, they don't like that at all. The actor was arrested on March 25th over an alleged domestic dispute with a 30 year old woman. The unnamed victim was taken to hospital with a minor injuries to her head and neck. Do you know what that means? When people hear that the major thing that people hear when they hear head and neck 
is they remember the flipping Rihanna pictures during that, you know, incident with Chris Brown all those years ago. That's the first thing people come to mind. It's in a car, um, head and neck injury, man we woman. The first thing you think about is Rihanna, especially. And again, you have to think about his physicality came back to bite him in the ass. At one point, everyone was thirsting over the size of his biceps and how big his chest was and whatnot and how ripped he looked. Then he gets accused of abuse with a woman. And everyone's like, oh my God, he's so muscular. He's so big. Imagine how scared she was. It's like, oh, God almighty. Life can be cruel. Jonathan Major is completely innocent. Is probably the victim of an altercation with a woman he knows. Major's criminal defense attorney, Priya Chowdhury, told Deadline on March 27th in a statement. We are quickly gathering and presenting evidence to the district attorney with the expectation that charges will be dropped event imminently. Well, it hasn't done. Chowdhury added at the time that the evidence included video footage from the vehicle where this episode took place, witness testimony from the driver and others who both saw and heard the episode, <coughs> and most importantly, two written statements from the woman reacting to their allegations. So this is one thing I'm not really too I'm not really too common on. And again, maybe some people who are from America or specifically from New York can tell me this. So this assault went down. They're not denying it. But then later on, the woman who was behind with him in the, in the car, who was his girlfriend, she then rescinded or recanted the allegations. So if you get arrested for, you know, assaulting somebody and then the person doesn't want to press charges, can, can, the, um, can the courts or can the judge, can the police still pursue charges against you? If the person says, no, nah, it didn't happen that way, I lied or I made it up, or it was a different story. Like, can that can that actually happen, or does it just stick? What happens in that respect? Because I don't really understand. Because it says here she recanted the allegations, so you'd assume that the charges would just be dropped, and he could just you know get back to living life without having to explain himself. Laws are crazy over here in the USA. He's going to do a podcast with BGL. Yeah, exactly. Too late to apologize. Exactly. Too late to apologize. It's too late. I think so. Okay, cool. People don't know. I live in NYC. If there's a domestic fight, someone has to go in. Damn, I am sin. Okay, cool. So he is royally cooked, isn't it? He is barbecued. Major's attorney also released a set of text messages to the press redacted to protect the woman's identity in which a letter um, took blame for the fight. Please let me know you're okay when you get this. They assured me that you wouldn't be charged. They said that they wouldn't arrest you for the protocol when you saw the injuries on me and they knew we had a fight. I'm so angry that they did and I'm so sorry in this position. We'll make sure nothing happens about this. I told them it was my fault for trying to grab your phone. I'm only just out of hospital. Just call me when you get out of here. I love you. Doesn't this sound like a lot like flipping, what's that thing? Luana Mancuso, BJL's wife. This sounds really like her, isn't it? When women are in like abusive relationships, they sound eerily similar. This kind of like um, gaslighting of herself. It's strange, isn't it? Damn, bro. She's kind of like blaming herself for the situation, being sorry about it. I don't know. Crazy situation all in all. It must mean that most likely, if this is the way that she's messaging him, most likely they've had quite a few fights behind the scenes that people don't know about. You know, it must be a generally, I would assume, guessing, allegedly, a very physical um, relationship in that regard where a lot of abuse is kind of involved all the time. Um, a lot of slamming of the doors, a lot of chucking of stuff out of windows and shit. Um, but yeah, so are people saying, the prosecutor saying, uh, no, so I'm sin saying here, the prosecutor in NYC is thirsty as hell. Um, also, he's black, so he's gone make these charges stick. Yeah. It's looking really, really done, dizzily done for my guy, Jonathan Majors. But literally, this might be the most crazy bag fumble we've seen in real time. Like from where he was destined to go to, his level of acting and all course. Oh, that's what I meant to say. So I watched a movie recently. I thought, oh, this guy's actually a really good actor. Like despite, you know, looking the way he does, he's actually really good at acting. Um, the movie, I forgot what it was. It was a movie where he plays um, a pilot in the army. He's like a pilot in the Navy, sorry. Um, it's like an old period type of, you know, fucking movie. That was really good. He's really, really good in that. Like, he's probably one of the stars in that flipping movie, even though there's a few other, I think, quote unquote, famous guys on there. But he's really good in that. So um, imagine he, he showed range as an actor. Um, he clearly is somebody that comes from an artistic background, um, clearly has depth in him and whatnot, but then decided to make the biggest mistake ever. The biggest mistake ever was putting your hands on a woman, especially a white lady. Like legitimately one of the biggest first parts I've ever seen in my entire life. And he essentially only has himself to blame on this regard. Like he cannot, cannot in under any circumstances really be putting your hands on a woman, especially 
especially a white lady, especially when you're a really massive big black guy. Like he fumbled it so so bad, and you need yourself to blame. And so, R.I.P. Jonathan Majors. If he's able to come back from this, it'll be the biggest comeback of all time. But it's not looking good for that guy. It's not looking good for the guy. <laughs> 